Hello everyone, welcome back to your channel. Today we will discuss another practical. The aim of the practical is to determine the angle of minimum deviation for a given prism by plotting graph between angle of incidence and angle of deviation. This is a prism. Suppose this incident light falling on this side of the prism. Refraction occur and in the second surface again the refraction occur. So here two refraction occurred at the two surfaces of the prism. If there is no prism then the incident ray will follow this path. Due to the presence of the prism the emergent ray become this. Right. So if we take this emergent ray back then we will get the angle which is made between the incident ray and the final emergent ray. So the angle between the incident ray and the emergent ray is known as the angle of deviation. Okay. If the prism is not there then the ray will pass this way. Due to the presence of the prism the ray bend to this path. So the angle between the emergent ray and the incident ray is known as the deviation. We have to measure this angle of deviation for different incident angle. Draw perpendicular on the surface of the prism. If we draw a perpendicular on the surface of the prism then the angle between the incident ray and the perpendicular is known as the incident angle. In our practical at first we will take the incident angle I as 35 degree and then we will try to find out the angle of deviation for this case. And then we will take the incident angle as 40 degree and we will find out to the angle of deviation. Like this we will change the incident angle by 5 degree and we will try to find out the angle of deviation. Okay, so let's start. See, this is our prism. Okay. This is our. At first we will take a scale. And we will draw a straight line like this. Okay. Then we will place the prism like this. Now we have placed the prism here. And now we have to draw the prism. We have placed it like this. And then we are drawing the sides of the prism by this way. Okay. Now we will take this prism out from here. And then we have to draw the incident ray. At first we have to place the protector like this. This is the point of 90 degree. And at first reading we will take the incident angle as 35 degree. So this we are taking 10, 20, 30, 35. This is the angle 35. Okay. This is the angle 35. So, we are drawing this. This is the perpendicular we are drawing. And then, this is the angle 35 degree. This is the incident angle 35 degree. Okay. Now, we will put the pins on this incident ring. This is the first pin. And similar way, we have to put another pin. Okay, we have placed these two pins. Now we have to place the prism here back as it was. Okay, see. Okay, now we have to draw the refracted ray. Now you have to look into the pin from this side. Okay, here you can see, move your eyes like this, and you can see a position where the two pins are on a seam line right here the two pins are on a seam line then we have to put another pin which will be on the line like this see now the three pins are on the seam line right now we have to put another pin fourth pin On the same line see now you can see this four pins the particular line this four pins are on a same path right you are now just seeing one pin because this four pins are on a same line right I hope you understand this you have to put the pins on a same line this way I am doing the practical 
just I am showing this. Now we are taking out the pins and marking the position of the pin. Then I am join. I am extending the incident light, and now I am joining the position of the two pins to get the refracted ray. Now we will measure the angle of deviation between incident angle and the emergent ray. The angle between incident ray and the emergent ray is the angle of deviation which is 41 degree for the incident angle 35. Now we are again doing the same experiment with incident angle 40 degree. So at first I am taking the normal then I am drawing 40 degree angle. And then I am plucking the, I am putting the pins on the incident light. And here the incident angle is 40 degree. Now I am placing the prism here. And then we are drawing the prism. Now we have to put the pins to get the refracted ray. Similar way in the first time. Uh, we have shown how we have to put the pins to get the refracted ray. The same thing we are doing here also. You have to put the pin straight so that the four pins are on the same line. If they are not straight, then it is. Now we will take this prism out from this position and we have to draw the extended incident ray and the emergent ray. This is the emergent ray. Then we are measuring deviation angle for incident angle 40 degree. We have already done for 35 degree we got 41 degree deviation angle and for 40 degree incident angle we got the deviation angle 39 degree and then we have done this for 40 degree uh, for 45 degree incident angle we got deviation angle 40 degree and for 40, 50 degree incident angle we got the deviation angle 43 degree okay we have got these, uh, these values for incident angle the 35 degree we got deviation this for 40 degree we got this for 45 degree we got this for 50 degree we got this now what is our job now we have to draw a graph this is the x axis where we draw the incident angle and this is the y axis where we mark the deviation for 40 degree suppose we are starting our scale uh, for incident angle to 30 and this is 40 and this is 50 this is 60 and suppose for deviation it is starting from 39 and ending at 33 so we are taking it 35 40 45 right so now we are locating the point 35 incident angle and 41 deviation angle 35 and 41 this will be the point and 40 39 40 39 and then 45, 40, 45, 40 and then this is 50, 43, 50, 43. So our graph is like this, okay. So we are getting minimum deviation at this point. We are getting minimum deviation at 40 degree. Like this we have to draw the graph and from there we can mention where we are getting the minimum deviation. Okay. This is the practical. Mainly uh, in this practical you have to follow how to adjust your eyes. I am adding uh, a clipping at the end of the video where I am showing again how to adjust the eyes to get the refracted ray. I hope you understand this. 
Please like, share and subscribe the channel. We will come back with another practical. Thank you everyone. Thank mm -hmm. you.